Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into My Sweet Dear. We're diving into episode six. I just finished reacting to episode five. And y'all, it was like the sweetest, most adorable, just bag of fluff and happy feels. And while I loved it, I feel like this next episode is going to start leading us into a little bit more of like the conflict drama that's going to arise because uh, we had the whole episode without boss lady so I feel like she's going to come back into the picture this episode and start stirring up some drama and whatnot which y'all already know I don't I don't trust her yet I don't trust her but we're just gonna have to wait and see so we're gonna dive on in and just see Okay, thank you. They, they, they replay this moment just for me, even though I just saw it like five minutes ago still. Mm. Mm -hmm. Without even second thought, he just grabbed it and was like, mm. What are you doing tomorrow night? What's wrong with you? What's wrong Girl, you better invite him over to your place, pour him some wine, make him some dinner. Okay. I guess that'd be too easy. Mm. Now, are you saying it's good because it's actually good or because he's warmed up your heart a little bit and now you got the feels for him? Out of the way, I don't care. Keep going. I mean, I think it's. Mm, I think it's fairly obvious. Are you comfortable now? It's okay, baby. Shoot your shot. Mm -hmm, I know you do. Let him know. Yes, you do. Y'all better drink your wine and like each other. Y'all want to like each other without pants? I mean, you don't have to. Just asking for a friend. I might be the friend. It's 
Stop it. Stop it. He's like, okay, now I got the confirmation he kind of likes me. I'm a pour it on so heavy. Mm -hmm, I bet you do. What he sent you. Is that gonna be your new wallpaper? Get it printed out and frame it. Lord, that is a beautiful man. I, I love him with this hair. I know I mentioned in the earlier episodes, but Lord, I love him with this hair. See, she always got to she always got to stir up some drama. I don't like her. Yes, he my sugar boo. She, just like I said, she every time she comes on the screen, she she brings some sort of drama, and she gotta ruin the happy relationship that we were just building. I hate her. I don't hate her, but I don't like her. You better make it safe for your baby's head. in his eyes. You better hug him from behind, girl. It's like before it all comes out, before she starts talking about I'm a fire you, before any of that, let me just have this one day, this one moment with you. <laughs> I don't know why you came to this theme park in a full-on blazer. It feels like it's hot, too hot outside for all that, but okay. Go on, live your best fashion life. Is anyone there to operate it? Or do y'all just... This place seems kind of deserted. Okay, I, I, I guess. The look in his eyes, like he doesn't want to take this from him. Oh, 
그만 참으셨다 큰일이다 너랑 하는 건다 좋아지려고 그러네 It's okay. It's okay, babe. You can hold his head. Child, the intensity in his stare. Girl. This, this gaze is penetrating. Like he wanna devour this. Oh. You better get me this. But I have no brain. This is mine. Yes. I was so afraid they were gonna punk me and like not give it to me. Sweet. Beautiful scenery in this episode. Togona, hmm? Uri tasting. Haji Baja. Hopjogi, a Kamusu, Tongmyung Zungu, Promo Swanga, and yourself? Wole Dijari Dugu, Tongjangan Danga Sacheva, and the Geta. 너 때문이라도 꼭할 거야. 도원아, 그게 나 오늘 기분 너무 좋은데. 오늘은 그냥 이렇게 우리 둘만 생각하자. Yeah, scare the birds away. I ain't got time for all these birds. Go away, birds. Feed your man this french fry. Oh, his jawline. super sweet episode like I said at the beginning when I was giving my commentary at the top like I felt like since the last episode was so super sweet and so full of just these happy light fluffy moments that this episode was going to bring some other kind of drama into the picture and that Miss Boss Lady was gonna bring her ass back into the picture and stir up some nonsense and lo and behold 30 seconds of the episode Miss Boss Lady shows her ass up and it's like hey I'm here to stir up some drama. I'm like, oh, I swear to God. Um, so it's like at this point, I, I don't even think she don't. She doesn't even care. Well, I don't know. Like all it's, I saw that it was the head chef contract. I don't know what the stipulations to the contract were. If it's like, hey, if you win the tasting, then this is guaranteed your contract. Blah blah blah. Like I don't know. Or if it was just her saying, I'm hiring you. He's out. You're in blah 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 the contest is just a formality technicality whatever i'm already hiring you my mind's made up i'm feeling like it's more of the latter situation just from the way that the episode was going on but yeah you could see you could see in um his eyes that he didn't want to 
he d he doesn't want to take this away from Dugan. He doesn't. Um, but there's still something in him that made him sign the contract, which I'm s still not sure of. I'm imagining we'll explore it in the next episode, but yeah, because it very easily could have gone the way of, oh, I don't want to take this from him. And she's like, oh, did something happen between you that I don't know about? Very easily could be like, yes, that's, that's my baby. And I'm not going to take this away from my baby, so thank you for the offer. But thank you, no thank you, and move on with life. Um, but there's something that made him still sign the contract. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. So we'll just have to wait and see. But either way, you could see that he was feeling sort of riddled with guilt as the episode was going on. Um, after he left her office, he was just sitting there on the bench or whatever, and he, just the look in his eyes, just, ugh. Was he sitting on the bench? Did I invent that? Hold on, now I gotta go back and scrub through. I, I, I might just be inventing scenes. Oh, hell, I skipped the whole first half of the episode. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> no, we started off where we left off last episode. Um, <laughs> with the hand licking, and what are you doing tomorrow night? Okay, we're having dinner. Great. He brought him over to his house for dinner, made him the, the meal, and it's like, I want to leave a strong impression on you. I'm like, yes, and we had the romanticness, just drinking wine, eating dinner, and he's like, I like you. Are you still uncomfortable? And he's like, I like you too. I'm like, mm hmm, yeah, but I like each other and drink this wine. Mm hmm, praise Jesus. And, you know, just a sweet night. Then, as he was walking home, he was talking to, I'm guessing, one of the other chefs in the restaurant. Maybe, I think. I didn't quite catch the name, but I don't think he was talking to um, Zhang Wu. Um, but at the end of the call, it's like, oops, sorry, I gotta go, because he got a text with a picture of them at the beach with the little squid thing. I'm like, y'all better have this romantic moment. And then we had the moment with Boss Lady and the chef, head chef contract. Okay, yes. So I'm scrubbing through the episode now looking at stuff. Yes, he was sitting on a bench after the meeting. I'm like, did I invent this scene? Because sometimes I feel like I invent these scenarios in my head that may not actually have been people in the comment section. Like, what the hell is he talking about? Um, but yes, when he's sitting there on the bench after his meeting with Boss Lady, like, you could see it in his eyes um, that he, he just... There was guilt. He, was, he felt guilty. He felt dirty because he doesn't want to take this from... Dugan, he really doesn't. But there's something, there's something going on. There's something in him that made him still sign the contract. So he's 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 got this battle inside of him right now. Um, Acting is very very good. Um, Uisu, um, yeah, great. Like his eyes were so expressive and just gave me everything I needed to know in all of these moments throughout this episode. Um, and then he went into the kitchen and he saw Dugun putting up all the like foam padding around the corners and the edges so people stop banging their heads and stop hurting themselves and whatnot. And it's like, you better do this sweet little gesture and just. Mm. And then when he, when um, Jung Woo walked in and saw that, again, his eyes, they were speaking volumes. You could see the sadness and the how much he was touched by the gesture and then the guilt over what was happening. You could see all of that in his eyes and it's just like, oh baby, I want to hug you. So then he runs around and he hugs him from behind and I'm like, y'all know how I feel about these hugs from behind. They're like one of the sweetest gestures I can think of and he just rests his chin on his shoulder and Dugan's like, what are you doing? People might think, um, and then he's like, shh, my, my head hurts. Let me just... Mm. He's like, are you okay? He's like, I, I want to take you somewhere. I want to go somewhere with you. And he took him to, you know, the Ferris wheel or the theme park or whatever, wherever it was. The, the abandoned theme park that operates on its own. I don't know. Um, but you can tell throughout the episode that he wanted to have this conversation with Dugan. But he wanted to take him to this Ferris wheel place first because he wanted... Before this potential breakdown in the relationship happened. He wanted to have just that one almost perfect moment. He wanted to have that perfect moment that he could have in his memory banks that he can revisit and he can hold on to so he can say, okay, yes, 
before things got bad, we had this. There were feelings there. Blah, 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 blah. And my actions may cause him to no longer want to be with me. And that's okay because, you know, I'm, it's the cost of the actions that I did sign this contract. But I just want to have this moment so that I have something to hold on to after the fact. And it's like, oh, so sweet. So, so sweet. So then them in the Ferris wheel, the, the lighting, the, the just everything gorgeous and again Yusu is acting the eyes again you ugh, like it's just killing me it's like I wanted to bring someone here that I cared about and he's like oh I cared about and then they 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 sat next to each other they held hands they penetrated each other's soul well Yusu he was penetrating souls um Chan Hyung, he he was looking, you know, lovingly. He's like, okay, it's very sweet, lovingly. Like, okay, we're 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 going into this. This is the first kiss moment. But Hui Su, he 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 was penetrating. So like, my soul felt penetrated, and I wasn't even looking at. There was such just an intensity in his gaze. He was just like whoo, laser focused. I'm like, girl, you better go in for this man so then they had the first kiss i'm like okay this was cute this was cute i thought something was gonna happen and they were gonna like trick me out of this kissing moment because the majority of the korean series that i can think of that i've reacted to like the only times i've gotten a kiss this early in the series it's always been like a one-sided kiss like one of the people like surprise i like you Mwah! and the other person's like frozen and you know not really responding or i get like the you know the main kiss in like the last episode so the fact that i got this and we still got two episodes left i'm like okay okay this is cute yes i'm here for this um yeah and then we had bathing in light bathing in light then we transitioned over to the boardwalk which again beautiful the blue sky contrasted with the white clouds and all the lighting beautiful 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 and um Jung Woo was like I don't think we should do the tasting because you know I don't feel like it's right for, for us to fight over something that was already yours mm -hmm. and Dugan's like I'm like no we're gonna do this for you and in that moment I was wondering how because he's like, let's not worry about that. Let's just focus on today. And you could see where Zhang Wu wanted to have the conversation again. But Dugan was like, mm -mm, right now, we're just going to focus on today, the here and now, and just have a good day. And that made me wonder how much Dugan knows. Like, does he know that he's out and Zhang Wu's in? Does he know that the contract's already been presented? Does he know this? Or does he have these feelings that that's the case? I don't know, but it seemed like he was wanting to avoid that conversation, at least in this moment, because he just wanted to enjoy this day that they were having. And it's like, hmm, I don't know, but we'll just have to wait and see. All in all, lots, lots of just sweet moments, sweet, sweet, yeah, sweet, sweet moments, and... Yeah, so I can't wait until next week when I'm assuming episode 7 and 8 are coming out. So we'll just have to wait and see, but I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments, and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.